Hello, welcome back to another car vlog, car vlog, another Monday here on my channel. Hope that you guys are doing great. Okay, I rented this dress. I'm sorry I haven't done a newly try on, although I think you've seen like most of the clothes that I rented this month. Um, I really like this dress. It's a little like, you know, little orphan Annie meets a cult kind of raggedy Ann and Andy thing going on, but... I think it's pretty cute, it's comfortable, it's easy, which we love right now. However, um, there's like elastic around the arms and I feel like the arms aren't long enough to be like full length, but not short enough to be short. So they're like kind of three quarter lengthy, supposed to like kind of billow. But the elastic is so tight on them that I am like, does anyone's arms fit in these? Like, I don't fancy myself having, like, large forearms necessarily, but it is, like, so uncomfortable to the point where, like, oh my god, did I just break it? I was, like, to the point where I want to break it, and... Oops. Okay. Remember <laughs> like, that didn't happen. <laughs> It's like someone above heard me. Whoa, did I break that? Um, okay. Great. Anyways, um, rentals. We'll see how that goes down, uh, once, uh, I return it. Anyways, hi guys. What a manic start to a video as usual. I'm always like out of breath when I get into the car because getting out of the house is such a process. Um, I am entering into my 37th week of pregnancy and I gotta say like whoa I am slowing down all of a sudden anyone out there have this happen I know it's okay like I'm not like scared I don't need to go to the emergency hospital in fact I'm going to uh, my chiropractor this week um, which by the way he specializes he knows how to do uh, pregnancy like adjustments he barely touches me like it's so very minimal so no concerns there um, and I did ask my OBG if it was okay to go but um, I recently like my left foot has really been bothering me I um noticed like after doing anything like going on a walk or whatever my feet are like very 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 sore specifically my left side and now my left side is doing this thing my foot mostly but sometimes other parts of my left side because I sleep on that side um they are like falling asleep so like my foot is like chronically asleep and it's so uncomfortable and so disconcerting and like underneath it feels like almost like planters um fasciitis if you've had that before you know what I'm talking about anyways I'm not here to complain I'm just like I'm here to actually explain one that like whoa I'm slowing down so bear with me because my channel might be a little more inconsistent but two it's like I sort of had this um moment yesterday where I was just like feeling very defeated and I was talking to another mom friend of mine she's like defeated such a good word for this like just defeated because I'm so used to going at a certain pace and doing things to completion exam i.e example cleaning out my closet I'm like really working hard on my closet if you've been following this journey to make space for baby to share closet with me um and I like can't do much more than like little bits at a time and I realize this is all for good reason like baby is coming I am growing a human here I'm so lucky um to have this opportunity that my body is working in this way and um, that she is healthy like it's all like comes with like you know the best stuff but it is like kind of a mind fuck like to just be like whoa body is like breaking down and like I always fancy myself a very strong person I work out every day like I eat well I take care of myself and so it's like this mental gymnastics that I'm having to do to combat like this feeling of defeat or depression or like frustration like it's part of this process and I'm trying so hard to like go with the flow but like I don't know I just felt like I wanted to express that even if you're not pregnant if you have some sort of like something going on like obviously people have far like 
worse more severe like ailments and i'm sending you all the love god bless i'm not like speaking to that but like a friend of mine for instance she broke her ankle uh skiing and she like can't drive for like 12 weeks and this journey has been a really long recovery process for her and it's that same sort of feeling we talk about it often of like having to basically trick your mind into like you know not getting into this a constant funk and knowing that like things will get better and like this isn't the, this is just your like new normal for now like it's just all temporary that the body will heal itself it's just like an interesting it's just an interesting conversation that i felt like i need to say out loud but anyways is this normal for my left side to be asleep yes but it's uh slightly unfortunate and very much uncomfortable anyways i am off today i am out the door Shockingly, I did get up early today and instead of doing a workout, I took the day off and I did work on my closet. So I will show you the progress there. Also, I have a few, I pulled a few things to put on Poshmark. I'm being very selective with what I sell on Poshmark, but I will share those with you in case you are on the hunt for these particular items. I will get those up ASAP, hopefully by the time this video goes up. Um, but I am now dressed and ready to go. I was invited to a friend of mine to her backyard because she said it's like super bloom back there. She has like this beautiful garden. So she wanted to invite me and another friend. These are my two friends from college to come over and enjoy the backyard and have some tacos. And these are kind of like my hippie friends. So I decided today to bring my fairy deck so we can pull some fairy cards. We usually do like a tarot or something um, when we're together. So I thought that was fun. And I'm also gifting them these bracelets um so yeah i don't know i feel like this is a good way to sort of combat some of these like mental gymnastics i'm going through is to really just be present uh in nature with some really like-minded kind uh wonderful people so let's go okay a couple hours later i am home i like briefly caught footage and by footage I mean like two seconds on my phone of the flowers but here they are it was really really nice and really sweet and just always good to get out of the house first and foremost and to connect with people that I've known for a really long time um and just like I don't know today's conversations were all just about like being being 40 and like what it means and like how aging feels and what it looks like to do it gracefully and what it feels like when it's not graceful and I don't know just building like or continuing to harvest community um, and support is just so mwah, brilliant so hopefully you um, are doing the same in your life and or I am providing you with bits and pieces of it here so that you feel supported uh just as luckily luckily just as i do and uh, that feels very lucky to me anyways oh by the way i moved the chair out here update major major update i moved the ch the glider chair out into the living room per most of your requests or suggestions and it was so brilliant i'm enjoying it so much more out here and also looks really good in the space i'll get up in one second to show it to you but before that i wanted to tell you that you know since corny was sick um it's been like I think we figured out it's been like two, two weeks, two and a half weeks since she really had her bad episode where we had to go to the ER. There's videos about it if you missed it out. Um, I have like really been having trouble sort of like, like with my OCD around it and like Maybe I, it's not even my OCD. Maybe it's just like, generally speaking, like I just like, I'm really worried about her and everything she does. I'm like, is she okay? Is, is that okay? Like, oh my God, did she do that before? Or, or, or did I just not notice that she was doing it before? Like, I'm sort of like hypersensitive to everything surrounding her because um, she just got really, really sick there and it was really scary. And so I'm having a little like, PTSD, I guess that's a, a grandiose term for what's happening, but, um, or an elaborate term, a uh, hyperbolic term. 
you get the point. Um, so anyways, I haven't really like left her home alone that much since the um, weekend when she was really sick because I'm just worried about her. Um, and so today was the first time I left her because Jess has been working all day. I left her Look at me looking at her. I'm obsessing. I'm such a helicopter mom. Um, I left her for the first time for, and for, I think she's, I was gone for like four hours. And I did check the camera. If you guys missed it, I got a camera that's supposed to be for the baby, but I'm using it to watch her for the moment. Um, so I did check the camera several times and I realized I'm just like so... Is codependent the right word? I don't know. I'm just like so obsessed with her and obsessed with making sure she's okay. So I was like kind of proud of myself for going and doing this today. Uh, knowing that like I can't be here all the time and I can't like stop my life. I feel like we worked really hard to get her to a place of like health and she's back on a good track. And we're going to like obviously continue to like make sure that she's doing well and take care of her and do check-ins and you know we've changed her diet and her routine and everything so I just have to trust that like I am doing all the right things and have been doing all the right things and so it's like it's okay for me to like try to get back to some sense of like normalcy with her and her routine I don't know if this makes sense to anyone out there but I was like proud of myself today for going and doing that I was like it was hard and I feel that it was like necessary for me to do and so I just came home to her Queenie she just had a little snack so she's licking um but I just came home to her and I was like we did it we did it and she was like having little cries happy cries and I was just like rubbing her I was like we did it together bud we did it together yeah progress okay so here is the glider in the living room space I think I'm gonna switch that pillow out with just, um, I don't know, something cuter, more decorative with some color. For right now, I'm using like the table as my footstool, but I'm thinking if we space this back a little bit, I can actually put like a poof there, which will be helpful in the long run. Give you a different sight line of this. So, hi, Beb. Um, I think it looks really good in here, and thank you guys for encouraging me to do this. I think I'm going to get way more use out of it in this space. Um, yeah, your input was just like honestly so helpful and awesome. And, you know, gliders have like a certain glider aesthetic. I try to find the like, I just like, I don't, I don't, I think they're ugly. Um, if you love a glider, I'm not trying to like, you know, yuck your Yum, is that what it's called? Um, I'm not trying to like take away your joy for the glider. I just like, it's, doesn't, it's not my aesthetic. Um, clearly my aesthetic is very, very mid-century, um, boho, sort of eclectic. And I feel like most gliders um, just aren't that. But I do feel like I picked a decent one that's like non-offensive. And I think in this space, it actually works way better than I even had imagined. Uh, it kind of just blends in. So we got that going on. So that's that update, thanks to your guys' help. Hey, girl. Then, as mentioned earlier, I'm going through my closet, trying to sort of reorganize, declutter, give away, sell, um, all that stuff, donate. There's three purses here that I wanted to share with you. I also have a fourth purse already up on my um, Poshmark. It's a Kate Spade that um, is so lovely and I think it's like classic. I just don't find myself reaching for it. And again, it's taking up a lot of space, but let me show you a few more pieces that I have. I love this one. This is, um, I worked with this company, Sinbono. I think this is the vegan leather. Um, it's so very cute. This one's pretty small. I just haven't used it very much and I don't anticipate myself uh, using it too much, but um, you know, maybe someone out there could really enjoy this. Also, the color is like so fun going into the spring. There's also this one from them, which I love. I find their bags to be super spacious, even though they're small. So there is that. And then one more Kate Spade bag. By the way, these like were barely used. I think I used both of them maybe once. This is a little bit older of a piece that I did get some wear and tear out of. Although all things considered, like really good condition. And that's like an old classic Kate Spade. So 
if any of that is interesting to you, let me know um, and I will try to get those up onto the Poshmark as soon as humanly possible. Let me take you in to the closet so you can see what kind of progress we have made. Oh, I'm thinking about selling these as well. I love them. They're my tall hunter boots. Um, they're just so difficult to, st I barely use them. I got them years ago when I was traveling a lot to New York um, for work, but like they're very hefty obviously and they're hard to store. So um, those are a size seven. I won't put those up on Poshmark quite yet, but if anyone really wants them, please reach out and let me know. I did end up selling a camera we were gonna do it via Poshmark and then we just ended up doing it via Instagram. It was just kind of easier. So if there's anything you're seeing that you want, let me know. Um, okay, so here's the closet progress. For those who don't know, I am making this whole side for baby. I am waiting on getting some help to move around drawers and things like that. But I was able to like really cut back and cut down on stuff. Some of this is just like, does anyone know what I do with old glasses? Um, I don't want to refill the prescription and they just don't suit my face anymore. So I'm curious what to do with that. There's just a few things that I need to give away or return a few things to fix stuff like that. But all in all, this whole thing will be for baby. I will put a shelf up there. Um, we got some hangers finally. And then I think what I'm going to do is keep my purses in a big drawer like this, but I want to transfer it over to this side and then move all the rest of the drawers over to baby size. So this has now become like my accessory shoes. There'll be purses. And then I did like clean this out. It used to be pajamas, but I put all my bathing suits. I mean, high cup she, um, and accessories, but I think I can definitely not only downsize this, but I can put the stuff into boxes and then either put it up top or, you know, something along those lines. So that's the update on that for those who have been invested and more so super helpful with suggestions. I, I do read all your comments and um, I really do appreciate your help. Um, somebody suggested getting like things to go underneath our bed for some reason, like, you know, storage things that roll out and there's, oh my God, the storage like situation is so fun. Like people are so creative. Um, I was looking at like uh, the container store, which is really expensive, but then like knockoffs of the container store on Amazon and stuff. And there's just so much clever stuff. For instance, I have this like random space right here in between my bathroom and the closet wall. And so I found actually like a rolling unit that will fit there, like a slim rolling unit that's usually used, I think in like laundry rooms or kitchens. Um, so I can put some stuff in there. But um, like I was saying, someone had suggested doing a really nice thing for underneath the bed. I just like energetically have a weird thing about shoving things under the bed. I can do it under the couch in the other room. There's like places I'm fine with like shoving stuff, but for some reason, I don't know. There's something like energetically like off about doing that in my bedroom. Is anyone with me on that or am I just being like too woo woo for you? Let me know. Um, also in this corner, this is where the gliding chair was before. I obviously switched it out with this, but this is like too like law office for me. This chair like looked cool out in the living room. Obviously I need to clean up a more, um, but for some reason it's just like not working in here for me unless I do like a rug. But I'm thinking now I have space for a proper dresser situation. So I'm on the hunt to maybe like secondhand a dresser there. What I thought would be brilliant is to do like a corner dresser, like a dresser that like spans the corner, but they don't exist as much as I was hoping they would. Like in my research, I haven't really found anything that really suits. I suppose I could do like two pieces, but I think I'll end up just doing one and maybe also using that as like a changing table situation. So if you see anything on Facebook Marketplace or even just like, while online shopping, please let me know what you think will look good there. Um, we have, you know, mixed woods and um, different textures and colors in here. So I can kind of get away with doing anything over here. So let me know what you think. Yeah. Yes. Look at her. She's thriving, folks. We did it. Okay. I was like, wouldn't it be cute if I set up the camera here and like we were both laid on our tummies talking into the camera and then I realized I can't lay on my tummy. 
I can't lay on my tummy. I can't lay on my tummy or do much of anything at this point in time. <laughs> Today, like at lunch, um, we were sitting at the picnic table, we were outside sitting at a picnic table and we like had a really nice lunch and then at some point I was just like, I am so tired. Like to the point, like, I don't know if anyone had COVID fatigue. Um, but it felt like that the first time we got COVID, we were just like next level of tired that I didn't know like could exist. That's how I'm feeling right now. And I imagine I'm going to continue to feel until baby comes. Okay, this angle we could do. <laughs> so I'm just trying to like learn to accept um, what is now and know that things will change and that I'm blessed and all of this is uh, worth it, right? Right? Tell me it's worth it. I mean, look at this tummy right now, guys. Look at this tummy. And also look at this tummy. Thanks for being patient with me um, and being here. If you're still here, like, at this point in this video, like, I think you are on board with the randomness um, of my content. And, like, I guess this is just, like, now just a vlogging channel. I always had these intentions each week to do these proper, like, planned out videos. I will do a folding video. That was my intention this morning. I just like couldn't get there fast enough, but um, I do enjoy doing those. But I was thinking, oh, I'll do, you know, the try on videos. I'll do um, pro more product reviews, things like that. But the truth of the matter is that like, I'm just going minute by minute right now. And maybe there's a lesson in that too, to, pe uh, to everyone watching, even if you're not pregnant. Um, it's just like life is Life is challenging. We are entering into a new season. I know school is ending, so people with kids or people um, that work in schools, like there's a lot of change coming in and um, lots of schedules all over the place and just trying to kind of go with the flow on all of that. So um, yeah, let's, let's flow it out together. Go day by day. I'm really working on trying to just kind of change my mindset and even if I have a bad day or I'm feeling defeated or depleted um, it doesn't mean that the next hour is going to be like that or needs to be like that and it doesn't mean the next day needs to be like that so I'm um, just here to remind you of that you're doing great and we got this team I believe in us we got this you're doing great little chicky belly I love you I will see you Wednesday for what I think is gonna be a foldy video but you never know at this pace Day by day, no expectations other than just to give it our best shot. How's that sound?